not too long before our own, the human race suddenly encountered a deadly threat to its very existence. And this terrifying enemy surfaced, as such enemies often do, in the seemingly most innocent and unlikely of places. I got these plants repotted for you, Mr. Seymour! Look what you've done to the inventory! Don't yell at Seymour, Mr. Mushnick. Uh, hi, Audrey. You look I'm radiant here. today. Is that your eye makeup? I'll clean it up before any of the customers get here. Well, that ought to give you plenty of time. Look, God, what an existence I've got. Misfit employees, bums on the sidewalk, business is lousy, my life is a living hell. You, urchins, off the stoop. It's bad enough I have the winos permanently decorating the storefront. I need three worthless ragamuffins to complete the picture. Oh, we ain't bothering nobody. Are oh, we crystal? No, we're not, Lonette. You ought to be in school. <laughs> we're on the split shift. Right, we went to school to the fifth grade, and then we split. <laughs> <laughs> then how do you intend to better yourselves? Better ourselves? Mister, when you from Skid Row, ain't no such thing. A lamb goes up at seven, and he smells tough. You pour in your hours for the powers that have always been. Sing it, child.
to close the register for the day. I'll just have to buy twice as many then. Twice, twice as many? <laughs> yes, sir. I do my darling, please fetch this man a hundred dollars worth of a very kind of red American beauty roses. <laughs> The base too, huh? Thank you. Yes, sir. That is one interesting plant. Quick, quick, don't just stand there. Put that touch. What you call? An Audrey too. Put that Audrey too in the window where the passersby can see. My God, I never believed it. My children, I'm taking us all out to dinner. I'd love to, Mr. Mushnik, but I can't. I have a date. With the same no good Nick? I'm telling you, Audrey, you don't need a date with him. You need major, major medical. He's a professional. What kind of professional drives a motorcycle and wears a black leather jacket? He's a rebel, Mr. Mushnik, but he makes good money. And besides, he's the only fellow I got. Enjoy dinner. <coughs> oh, good night, Seymour. Good, good, good night. Poor girl. So, are we uh, still going to dinner? You're going nowhere, problem. You're staying right here and taking care of this sick plant. Why is it fainting all the time? I don't know. It's been giving me trouble. It just wilts like this. The Audrey 2 is not a healthy girl. Strictly between us, neither is the Audrey 1. <laughs> I, mean, I knew what breed it was, what, what genus, but it's nowhere in the books. Well, my advice to you is to figure it out and fast. Look what this little exotic beauty did for business. I know. So work, Seymour. Nurse this sick pet back to help. I'm counting on you. I know. You do? I do. So fix. Good night. Ah, Tui. I don't know what else there is to do for you. Mr. Bushnick and I dream big as hell for me. But I've been going through this with you for weeks. Grow, built, spurt, and fly.
Temple, do you mind if I call you a genius? Gosh, no. The genius who has developed a new fleet of punchline, hitherto unknown on this planet. The Audrey 2. Oh, Gen 1. Last question, Mr. Crowhorn. Do you feed it anything special? Special? Yeah. No. It's a secret formula, but it's a not hard to come by. I see. Well, thanks for dropping by. I'd just like to remind our listeners that the Audrey 2 is on display exclusively at Wishnick Skid Row Forest. Well, thank you. Uh, this is oh, radio station. Six, 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 six. Oh, well. It's still good advertising. I can't believe it. It could be happening. Pinchy girls. It could be happening. All of a sudden, success. Come now, it's a blue. I saw the sign right in the front window. An advertisement right in the front window. Stop it and see the amazing new pant I'll treat you. And the really remarkable things that people they do. See more than four of the blunts finally did something right. I'll treat you drives them nuts. What a blessing this wonderful plant should exist. And to break in the box for me hand over fist. So how I do? the address of the shop. How many times have I told you? I'm sorry, I was nervous. Where's Audrey? She said she'd be here. Forgive her, Audrey. Look, I've got three more radio interviews lined up for tomorrow, and the Skid Row for all examiner wants a picture. A picture? Goodbye, kind of mother. She'd be so proud. You're an overnight sensation, Seymour. Who'd have believed it? One day he pushed a broom, Suddenly successful guy like Seymour. 
Mm, this child suffers from low self-image. You have a point. She has a problem. <laughs> I must see more as the greatest. Still I'm dating a semi-sadist. So I got a black eye in my arms in a cast. Still that Seymour's a cutie. <laughs> well, if not, he's got inner beauty. And I dream of a place where we could be together at last. And what kind of place is that, honey? An emergency room? <laughs> oh, no. It's just a daydream of mine. A little development I dream of. Just off the interstate. Not fancy like Levittown. Just a little street in a little suburb. Far, far from urban skid row. The sweetest, greenest place. Where everyone has the same little lawn out front. And the same little flagstone patio out back. And all the houses are so neat and pretty. Because they all look just alike. Oh, I dream about it all the time. Just me and the toaster and a sweet little guy. Like Seymour, a matchbox of our own, a fence of real chain link, a grill out on a patio, disposal in the sink, a washer and a dryer, and an ironing machine.
did take care of the arrangement for Mrs. Shiva. Mrs. Shiva? Mrs. Shiva. Oh, Mrs. Shiva. I forgot. You forgot? How could you forget an order like that? The Shivas are our biggest funeral account. A big, enormous family, and they're dropping off like flies. I tell you, Crowborn, if we lose that business over this, you are finished. You know, sometimes I think Mr. Mushnik is too hard on you. Ah, uh, I don't mind. After all, I own everything. He took me on a skid row's home to voice when I was just a little tight. Gave me a warm place to sleep under the counter. Okay. Nice things to eat, like meatloaf and water, floors to sweep and toilets to clean and every other Sunday off. I really think you ought to raise your expectations, Seymour. Now that we're getting successful, I mean. Why don't you start with some new clothes? No offense, but with all the interviews and photo sessions, a big, important experimental botanist has to look the part. Uh, I'm a very bad shopper, Audrey. I don't have good taste like you. Well, I could help you pick things out. You could? Sure. You'd go shopping? With me? Sure. You'd be seen with me? In a public place? Like a department store? Sure. Tonight? I can't tonight. I have a date. But I'd love to go with you another time. Sure, sure. I'll pencil you in. I bet you have a lot of dates now, huh? Not dates, exactly. But a lot of garden clubs have been calling, asking me to give lectures. Gee. Imagine me giving lectures. Never even finished grade school. Well, that doesn't matter. You have life experience. Some experience? I don't even know what it's like to, to fly in an airplane. Me neither. Or eat a fancy dinner at Howard Johnson's. Me neither. Or ride a motorcycle. Oh, it's no big deal. And besides, it's dangerous. It is? Extremely. I better go fix my face. My date will be here any minute. <laughs> Excuse me, ladies. Which way to 1313 skid row? I'm afraid that information will cost you a dollar. Hey, no problem. Here you go. It's right over there, but if you're like the thousands of others flocking down to see the Audrey too, you'll have to come back tomorrow. The shop is closed today, man. Oh I'm not here to buy posies, girls. I'm here to pick up my date. Your date? You ain't by any chance talking about a girl with a black eye. And several other medical problems? Well, as a matter of fact... Uh -huh. Girls, girls, please. I'm friendly. <laughs> True, spachem. You guys want some nitrous oxide? Why don't you get lost? The last thing Audrey needs is more of your kind. My kind is a very nice kind. I'm not a monster. Well, what else would you call it? I would call it an occupational hazard. Some boys say, what? <laughs> well, you see, girls, my line of work requires a certain fascination with human pain and suffering. <laughs> oh, this stuff is great. Allow me to explain. When I was younger, just a bad kid My mama noticed funny things I did Like shooting puppies with a BB gun I'd pour some guppies and when I was done I'd find the pussy got it back in its head That's when my mama said What did she say? She said, my boy, I think someday
tell me that you will do. Gee, I really might, but... I'll hold my breath until...
you a girl. How about that, Audrey? Think it over. There must be someone you can 86 real quiet like and give me some lunch. Yeah. <laughs> 
I've thought about enough of this stuff. I'll just take the mask off now.
Taylor Sweet, Mr. Mushnick. She's real pretty. Wish I could sign, please hold. Can I help you? Wish I could sign, could you hold, please? Yes, sir, ma'am. Ma'am, goodbye now. Excuse uh, me, favorite uh, could you please hold? Goodbye. Hey, could you help me with these phones? Michigan Sun, Skid Row's favorite floors. Could you hold, please? Michigan Sun, Skid Row's favorite floors. Can you hold, please? Then you were saying. <laughs> Flowers for a prom corsage. Flowers for an entourage. Flowers to the funeral home. Meaning from St. Andrew's Roman Catholic Church and Nine Divine. Three dollars hold the line. First thing in the morning. Here to provide 
investigation into the disappearance of a motorcycle dentist. And they found a Mushnik Skid Row florist bag in his office. Uh, well, what's that supposed to mean? Exactly what I asked myself. But then I started to notice certain things around here. Little red dots all over the linoleum. I, I, I spilled some Hawaiian punch. And it stayed! It's pretty hard to keep things clean around here, especially when they only remove the garbage once a month. Well, what does that have to do with... Where are you going? If you want things removed in a hurry, it's best not to get rid of them on Skid Row. What are you talking about? I'm talking about this. A dentist uniform! I saw it last week, and I didn't think twice. And the little red dot seemed innocent enough. But then I catch you with a dentist's girlfriend. And it begins to look like a motive. What is in the way? You right. I'm innocent! I'm innocent! Then explain this. A picture of a baseball cap? Your baseball cap. 
They found it in Scarbella's office, showed it to me, and asked if I had identified it. Did you? No, they don't suspect you at all, Seymour. But they don't know about the dots, the uniform, the girl. I didn't do it! They come with me to the police and tell them that. He's got his facts on train. Just make punches the rest easy. You know he's on your trail. If you don't come with me, I have to go tell them myself. He's gonna turn you in. Now will you come? They're gonna put you in jail. Ah, uh, okay. He's USDA one. Good. I'll go out. For my supper time. Here he is, ma'am. 
most amazing and largest unidentified plant. So this is Seymour Crawford. We've been looking for you everywhere, baby. Did you get the cable we sent you? I don't think so. Oh, I think I came down here in person then. Nice to meet you, kid. The name's Catsnip. William Morris names me. Forget the cable we sent you. It's nice to meet me. Much too dangerous to keep that plant alive. I take these offers, that means more killing. Who knew success would come with messy, nasty strings? I sign these contracts, that means I'm willing to keep on doing bloody, awful, evil things. No! For God! 
thing just now. It said that Oren and Mr. Mushnik were already inside. It's true. I did it. I fed them to it. And that's what made it so big and strong, and you so famous? I've done terrible, terrible things, but not to you. Never to you. But I want you to, Seymour. What? When I die, which will be very shortly, <laughs> give me to the plant so that it can live and bring you all the wonderful things you deserve. You don't know what you're saying. But I do. It's the one gift I can give to you. And if I'm in the plant, then I'm part of the plant. So in a way, we'll always be together. No more shy, tender leaves. You'll smell my sweet perfume.
subsequent to the events you have just witnessed. Similar events in cities across America. Events which bore a striking resemblance to the ones you have just seen began occurring. Subsequent to the events you have just
make sure her sister is here, though. Um, and I just want to make sure that she gets her flowers and that she knows that she is We have had, I mean, as, as you might imagine, if we have one of our doo, she's one of our doo-wop girls. Uh, she is one of our doo-wop girls. And uh, if you can imagine the utter panic um, that a cast might feel if they're missing one of their major players. And I just want to recognize Kelsey Johnson for stepping in. Thank you. 